run here. Everybody run, everybody run, and everybody run, everybody run, everybody run. Run it. Yeah, I told Witty to pass the beat. And he went and he passed the heat. What's up, y'all? Barbecue back, and today we are riding the Bigo T4. This wheel, now this wheel is fun. It really is the Mini Master. It suspension is a whole lot better than the Masters. Um, 16 inch wheel, 100 volt, so it doesn't have the same power and torque as the master but if you have the right use cases for this like uh tight technical stuff man this wheel is perfect for you um right here is kind of like an open fire road probably not the best um situation to put a t4 in because right here i am having to hold back the t4 is it's it's limited on it. its top speed um it's about like maybe low 40s people are saying like th high 30s maybe 38 but i'm usually flying here on the master um probably more than 40 miles an hour probably really high 30s but here it's i have to hold back on the t4 it, it doesn't have the top end or at least the headroom that i want to be able to really just open it up here so you you have to take that into consideration if you're considering a t4 um if you're a speed demon you know it might not be the wheel for you but if if you like technical uh type riding um nothing really too fast this wheel is perfect it's light it's super agile um, I could jump ridiculously high on this with like a power jump. It has more suspension travel than the Master. And out of the box, the suspension's a lot better. Um, I think they might have changed the geometry of the shock linkage on the T4 uh, because I, I don't have to pump it up super high. The shock. I don't have to pump it up super high um, so it doesn't bottom out on this ride I'm only running like 200 psi and in the master when I had the stock shock I was running like 400 psi so that's a huge improvement over the master the motor on this is a c30 high-speed motor it is a newer revision of the Nikola 16 inch C30 motor, but it's supposed to have more torque. And this one has, a, I believe, a wider rim than the old Nikola. Um, it climbs hills quite nicely. It's, it's very torquey. It doesn't have the same torque as the Master. You could just feel the power of the Master. But I think due to the weight, of the wheel it climbs pretty effortlessly um i still have to lean into it but it's it's hard to explain it just you could tell it's not as powerful but it's still a really good hill climber um who is this wheel for i'd say uh maybe a younger rider lighter riders for sure um somebody that's getting into trail riding this is a great you know bang for your buck uh trail wheel um like a seasoned vet that's a speed demon that's used to riding fast you know it might not be the wheel for you i had to adapt my riding style to hop on this um since the form factor is so similar to the master and i set up my jump pads and everything almost identical to the master my biggest problem was I was trying to ride it like the master um, so after riding the master it kind of ruined a lot of wheels for me I expect everything to accelerate like the master have the same power but you know you can't expect that from um, 100 volt wheels so I had a near cutout on my first ride and you know I think that's all user error that's all me just leaning too hard 
when I'm already going too fast or, you know, uh, slamming on the brakes too hard when I'm already going downhill, carrying a lot of speed. Um, you can feel it. I, I can overpower this wheel. And I, I solely think it's because I'm just so used to the power delivery of the master and how I can just brake as hard as I want and uh, continue to accelerate a steep hill while carrying some speed. Um, it's it's a great wheel. I'm, I'm going to give it that. It's super fun. But I have to adjust when I ride it. I can't ride it like I'm riding the Master. Um, like you can see here, it's cornering really nicely. Even with the stock tire, I'm not a big fan of it. Um, the Shinko 241, it was too tall of a tire. I, I had to throw the stock back on. I'm going to try another one. If it fits, you know, I'll, I'll probably throw a review on it up about it. But the stock tire is decent. It, it did the job. But overall, I think this is a great bang for your buck trail wheel. It's nice and agile, not as heavy as the Master. And it just doesn't have the top end. So keep that in mind if you're considering this wheel. But it's really, really fun. That was fun, y'all. I mean... It doesn't have the power of the master, but it's equally just as fun as long as you know its limits and what to do, what not to do. So this right here is, I think, where the T4 shines. Um, a lot of this is really tight and pretty technical, and you kind of have to maneuver around little rocks and just make sure you're staying on the path. Um, I can carry a lot more speed through here on the master but it takes a little bit more effort. Whereas with the T4, I'm able to like bob and weave in between rocks, um, choose tighter lines. And when I'm taking a lot of these really like tight turns, I don't have to throw my body around like I do on the master. It's just, it's it's lighter. It's, it's a little bit more fun to just toss around. And I'm not a big guy. I'm only 5'4", about 180 pounds. Uh, I'm a small guy, so tossing the T4 around, it, it's a little bit of a nice uh, break after riding the Master so often. But nine times out of ten, I'm still choosing the Master. Um, I need that headroom. I need that power. And with the Kuba suspension, um, I like the way I have that suspension set a lot better than even the suspension on the t4 out of the box um but the main reason why i got the t4 was you know my, my oldest son when he comes back i don't want to be on a ride and me be on a suspension wheel and him have to ride the nicola and um his knees taking the beating while i'm over here just chilling soaking up all the bumps with the suspension this wheel is there for, you know, people that want to use it, um, mainly for my kids. I, I want to hop on it every so often. It's a good uh, change of pace going from the big master. I mean, it's not too big. It's not that heavy. But having a light wheel, it's just a nice convenience to have. Um, ripping it through like this stuff, I'll probably choose eh, i'm still going to choose a master but the t4 is nice to ride through it if i'm gonna go on a real technical trail really tight and there isn't a really a lot of high speed stuff you know the t4 is a great option to grab um but it brings me back nothing really compares to the master the power of it it's it's unrivaled uh for somebody like me that loves speed that power is quite addicting um but yeah hey c4 y'all need to get this bro this is so fun for that tight technical stuff this is it i have not way more fun but this is easier to ride through that stuff than the master i mean the master you can carry more speed but I mean, I'm, I'm happy. I have fun. No complaints here.
so just a different form factor uh it literally is a mini master yep but if you have a master do not torque this thing like a master i don't torque any other wheel like the master but because it's so i set it up almost identical i think i'm on a master and i torque it hard and i just overpower it so if you have a master as well you have to adjust uh you don't ride it like a master ride it like you're riding like a nick uh like a nick plus 100 volt you know what i mean you're not going to twerk hella hard on the pads um so don't do it on this i mean but if you've never in a master you probably won't have that problem but i noticed that that's my problem is it feels so much like the master that i'm trying to ride it like the master i expect it to accelerate and torque like the master does but it's only 100 volt 16 inch uh you have to adapt all right y'all thank you for checking out my video if you made it this far please like comment and subscribe and your t4 and masters are available at alienrides.com